Today we're looking at lesson five and ten hundredths rotations and iterating angles. Why, you might ask, are we looking at these things? Well, you need to begin to recognize angle sizes when you see them. So this is one of the strategies that we're going to use to get you ready to do that. So how are we going to do that? We're going to be using straws in class like we have done many times before. So for example, if these were the two straws that I were looking at, and remember we put our little pipe cleaners or our... Uh, little bread ties in between there that kind of hook our straws together. And if I looked at this picture and I asked myself, what kind of turn did these straws make? Did they make a full turn, a quarter turn, a half turn? That's the kind of thing that we're going to be looking at. So if I look at these particular straws the way that they are, they look like, if you think about a clock and think about that green section, being the center of the clock and this straw here traveled around to this point we would say that that would be a half turn. Now if that same straw had ended up in this particular spot, if I can get it to move, we've got everything moving but what I want, let's try this down here Now I've got it where I want. So if you look at the straws now, we would say that they made a full turn. If you take a look at these two straws, what kind of turn do you think they have made? Again, think about this being the center of the clock right here. This straw looks like it stayed put, but this straw moved to this particular location. So what would that be? I would say that would be one-fourth of a turn, okay? So we had one-half of a turn, one-fourth of a turn, a full turn. Think about how could we take that information that we know with clock hands and think about the hands turning around that center spot on the clock. How can we use what we know to measure angles? That's what we're going to be looking at today. So here is an actual angle, and what we want to be able to do is measure the amount of rotation by measuring the spread of the arc. And the arc would be from this spot to this spot on this particular angle. Their rays using fraction circle pieces. Could we do that? So if I stuck a fraction circle piece on that particular angle, would I be able to determine what the rotation was and hopefully just looking at that you would say that that was one-fourth of a rotation with that particular angle. So let's take a look at if I had something like this we're looking at the angle going this direction what kind of rotation would that be? And could we measure that with a fraction circle? Hopefully you're thinking that you can because you can and hopefully you're thinking that that would be one half of a rotation. So this kind of gives you an idea of what we're going to be doing. So in class we will use fraction circle pieces to measure angles and we're going to describe the measure of the angles based on their rotation. So stay tuned. I'll see you then.